Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, an opportunity for us to listen to God together. First, let's hear from the Bible. Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Everyone will agree that it's desirable to find inner peace. Go along to any bookshop and you'll find dozens of books that will offer you a quick route to inner tranquility. They'll give you a wide range of suggestions, from those that encourage you to change your diet, minimise your exposure to conflict, or start meditation. None of those things aren't necessarily wrong, but they won't get to the heart of the problem, which is that as human beings, we fundamentally lack peace because our lives are not right with God. It's only when that relationship is sorted out that we can begin to experience God's gift of peace. Here Paul celebrates the fact that that is precisely what Jesus has done through dying on the cross. When we're at peace with God, Paul declares that the door is flung open to all of God's other blessings. The person who finds peace is introduced to a new attitude to life within which even sufferings are a source of joy. This sounds crazy, but Paul discovered for himself that sufferings produce perseverance. If life was always easy, we might never learn that. Perseverance produces character. Nothing is more important than to build up a strong Christian character. and That happens as we trust God through the twists and turns of life. And, Paul added, character produces hope. That is to say, we can look to the future with confidence because of the presence of God's Holy Spirit within us. God's gift of peace doesn't offer us a problem-free life. That isn't the deal. But as we allow the Holy Spirit to shape our lives day by day, we can be confident that God's peace will be with us, whatever storms we face. Let me pray with you. Loving God, we thank you that Jesus has died for us and that through his death we can experience peace today and every day. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you.